Okay, so here it is, the long-awaited Wi-Fi Link RX or VRX by Runcam. And this has to be the most anticipated product in FPV for the year 2025. A lot of guys are trying to get into open IPC and this is one of the easiest way to do that. This is kind of a gateway into this actual protocol. So let's open this up and see how it looks. All right, first thing here you have is the Runcam card. You have a QR code and the actual website here to go for the manuals. Next, we have the actual VRX right here. And this thing looks pretty fancy, guys. It's the big old fan in the center here. And you also have these connections here for the antennas. Let's get this out. Ugh, this thing here is kind of a hefty boy here. We'll see how much this thing here weighs in a little bit. Besides that, we have a box below here. And looks like you have some antennas here, four antennas, which is pretty cool. Looks like you have some Runcam branded antennas, some stubbies on here. It does say it is left-hand circular polarized, which is pretty much standard for any digital system. And then you have two kind of a linear standard antennas in here as well. Now it's pretty cool they include antennas in this because some of the other VRX in the market, they don't ship with antennas, much less some stubbies like this one right here. So um, pretty impressive overall. We'll see how they work. Next, we have a package here with an XT62 barrel plug. And this is obviously to power on this VRX right here. Now the power range on this is between three and seven S. Yes, that's a weird range, three and seven S. Last but not least, we have something in the back. <laughs> Let's go from the other end. And it looks like a HDMI cable to go from the actual VRX to your goggles or your monitor. Oh yeah, it's a full size to mini. I thought it was a mini on both sides. So is this a full size or a mini? It's a mini as well. So if you're gonna use this for your FPV goggles, this is not gonna work. You need some kind of a converter. Um, I have one right here. This is a standard to a mini. I think it's mini. And now you have a mini on both ends. So you can plug this straight into your VRX. I really wish it came with the same size on both, only because if we're gonna fly this with our goggles, most likely we're gonna have uh, a mini on the goggles. I'm complaining about it, but that's a lot packed into this box for the price. Now I said only to say that this is kind of a, well, this for me is a pre-release model. I'm recording this in the future and I don't have any details as to the pricing of this. Now this is an open source kind of project, so we don't expect the price to be as high as other closed source projects. So. We're hoping hopefully under $100, but you do get a lot in this box right here. And everything you need to get started right here is included in this packaging. Okay, so let's take a closer look at this VRX, or as they call RX. Now this thing here looks like a complete product. And I say that only because this is the power of open source. It wasn't just long ago, we didn't have any of this. To get something like this, you had to either get your board do some soldering, configuring, and also print like a 3D case for this. Now you have a really nice design here. This looks like a really finished product with some branding. Now this is a pre-production model, so I don't have any specs in this, but it does feel a little weighty here. Let's see how much this thing here actually weighs. And that's around 115 grams. Not the lightest thing in the box here, but let's put the antennas also in here. I do have the plastic. It's not gonna make a, a big difference with the plastic, but let's add the antennas to it. 138 grams. So this isn't the most light thing ever. And if you consider the weight of your actual FPV goggles, you're gonna add a little bit more weight to that. But that's kind of predicted and kind of expected, especially when you use some of the other VRX on the market. In fact, let's just wait right here since I have it here. So 126 grams with the antenna on here. So that's kind of on par with the other VRXs on the market. Okay, so the Runcam Wi-Fi Link RX, and there's a lot, and I mean a lot going on here. The first thing that jumps out is this fan in the center here. Obviously these things get really, really hot, guys, and you have ventilation all over this board here, underneath and to the side. So there's proper ventilation. Hopefully the fan isn't too loud, but we'll see once we power this up. Besides that you have these four antennas on here, which is pretty cool. They look like RPSMA connectors. Um, that's a little bit different. Uh, very standard with DJI though. And the cool thing is that you also have this nice little rail system on the side here. So you can actually include or add a patch antenna. Something similar to what we see on like the HD0 goggles. You have the same kind of rail system and you can slide these patch antennas right here. Very compact, very clean. So let's take a look here, now that we have it here, if these things actually fit. And let's see if that distance is the same. And we can just use these. 
it's close guys, but it's off for like, I wanna say two millimeters or so. It's just not gonna fit. It'd be cool if it was the same distance and we can just slide these off. But I don't think these are gonna work anyway because these are SMA connectors and these are RP SMA, so they're not gonna screw in. Although you can get a conversion for these connectors right here. Now, besides that, we do have four ports of four antennas, which is really good. This is one of the first products in open IPC where we have four antennas. Some of the other RX on the market, like the one from Emacs, even the one from Runcam had just two antennas. So hopefully you get better um, information, better data link, and more information coming to our VRX. So I'm happy to see that. And obviously you can add a difference of whether a patch or a directional and some stubbies on top if you want to. And that's the way I'm probably gonna do it eventually. I do think that they'll make some antennas for this. It's a little bit different in their design here with this little uh, rail system here. The one on the HD Zero goggles is just a straight slice here, or a line. You can see some grooves here so it can actually lock into place. So I don't know if Runcam has some antennas in the works. We'll see about that in the near future. Now on top here you have the holder for the RX and this is gonna allow you to mount this to your existing goggles. This can be removed. And it's a very similar design to the one on the, I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna break it. It looks, yeah, I'm not gonna break that. <laughs> I'm not gonna break that. It's very similar to the ones on the actual uh, Walksnail VRX. That one is gone. It looks almost I, like it could fit right in there. Now I have 3D printed a actual mount here for my goggles, my actual HD Zero goggles. And we'll do that when we set this up. But you can get this thing on Thingiverse. I'll leave a link down below where you can find this. And this should convert this to a mount so we can install this right into the front of our goggles. We'll see if it works out. Now besides that to the left, you have a five-way directional joystick, and this is how you're gonna navigate through the menu. Pretty nice and clicky, feels really good. And then you have two LED lights here. These are obviously gonna be status lights to see the status of this. There's no instruction manuals in this box, so I don't know what they do or what they indicate. And then to the right here, you have a record button, which is pretty cool, guys. Uh, does that mean that this has a built-in DVR? I don't know yet. It'd be cool if these things have like a built-in memory. But no big deal here because on the side here you do have a micro SD card slot and that'll be used to update the firmware on this as well as to record to the DVR. So it's pretty cool to see DVR functionality in a VRX. I'm super excited to test this out and see the quality of the video guys. That's, yeah, we'll see in a few moments. I'm kind of excited guys, as you can tell. Now, next to that you also have two ports right here. You have one on top that says TXRX and ground almost like a UART or a free UART. And I'm sure that's gonna be used to interact maybe with a computer, maybe with the flight controller, or more, most likely with your actual radio. Now below you also have another port here with ground, SCL, SDA, and a three volt. And I'm assuming that's for future things, most likely maybe head tracking, but you have all these ports here. And that's a welcome sign because you don't want this to be proprietary and lack of ports, meaning you could obviously expand with this in the future and this makes this kind of future proof. So I say kudos to Runcam for thinking about that kind of stuff. Now underneath here is where the magic begins. You have a bunch of ports on here. Now first thing here is this quarter 20 screw on here. And this allows you to actually mount this on a tripod or a stand. Convert this from like a VRX in your goggles to almost like a ground station. And I may actually consider doing that, especially if you're kind of weight sensitive with the weight on your goggles then you can just put this on a tripod and just have the HDMI cable go into your goggles. So, or if you wanna get better reception, you could actually elevate this to a higher level and get better reception that way as well. So that's, that's an option. Now to the left of that, you have an OTG port and a Type-C port. Now that's pretty interesting. No one really knows what this is for. Even some of the developers don't know or they're kind of tight-lipped and not gonna talk about what this might be for. But OTG is usually to connect this to like a mobile device. So maybe there's, a mobile app in the works that would be kind of cool um, i talked about in my previous video how it's kind of hard to interact with the vrx and the vtx have to go to the computer maybe this is a way to interact with this with your mobile device we'll see about that besides that you have a usb-c type c and usb-c type c is typically for like data transport or powering or getting information out hey the more ports, the better. And then to the right, you have the HDMI port, which is what we always wanted. This is the biggest feature of this. We can actually use this with our goggles. So we'll see how this all works. This should give us the lowest latency opposed to what we're used to using all these adapters and using a phone app. So this thing looks good, guys. Overall, this looks a, like, oh man, 
a complete product here. In the back, you can actually see that they have a curvature here. Kind of curves a little bit, so this, this can sit a little bit flush to your goggles, not like a straight piece. So they did consider all that in it. These are all things that you probably wouldn't have had if you had to make this for yourself. All right guys, so this thing looks really nice. What do you think about this Wi-Fi Link RX or VRX? Well, I do think this is a very compelling product. It looks very nice and neat, very refined. And I do think this single product here will bring a lot of pilots to this new ecosystem, which is open IPC. We'll see how the price is overall. Now in the next video, I'm gonna install this on my goggles and take my drone up for a flight and see how this thing here behaves or performs. So if you want to see that video, hit that subscribe button there for you to be notified whenever I do drop that video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.